What's going on guys, this is Seth Ford here and today I am back with another college football prediction video and today I'm going to be talking about the number 18th ranked Colorado Buffaloes versus the Oregon Ducks who are currently ranked 13th in the nation. Both of these will probably change tomorrow. This will be on ABC which is on September 23rd at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time which is probably like maybe 1 o'clock. 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock Pacific time over there. Thank you, ESPN or College Football, for changing this to a 3.30 p.m. game to not a 10 o'clock game because last night was crazy. As you guys know, I like prime time. I like Oregon. I like Colorado. I've been to Colorado. It's a beautiful place. I love Boulder, Colorado. It's nice. Um, but, my man, that game was crazy. It was chippy. It was like so many celebrities were there. It was just wild. It was crazy. Um, but hats off to Colorado State. I mean, they played their butts off. They had a few really good wide receivers there. And, of course, that um, Mo Camara dude, that dude was a monster on defense. But then it, uh, they, fell short. they fell short at the end when penalties cost them. And, of course, Shador Sanders does it again every single game. It's just been unbelievable to watch uh, Shador Sanders. Though he was a little shaky. He, he was a little shaky with the pick uh, earlier. I think it was like a tip pass. I keep forgetting. But um, still, I mean... Uh, he's done an excellent job so far. They're 3-0. Nobody, even myself, thought that Colorado was going to be 3-0 uh, this year so far with beating TCU, Nebraska, and, of course, um, Colorado State. I mean, I went to bed when it was like second, like the, the start of the second half. It was like 12.30 to 1 o'clock. I was just like, dude, I'm tired. I can't, I can't, I can't keep watching this game. And, of course, it went to 2.30 a.m., which is just wild. They went to second overtime. They won. They were down by 11 points. And, of course, Colorado just came back. They're a second-half team, uh, like Coach Prime says, and uh, they, they won. And so, hey, they're 3-0. I mean, who ever thought? I mean, it's just crazy. Oregon, on the other hand, they're still pretty good. Bo Nix has done an excellent job so far as well. They were a little shaky against Texas Tech, and I think they were down by, like, maybe 10 to 13 points or something like that against um, against Texas Tech. But uh, they, <laughs> they demolished Portland State, even though it's an FCS school, but they destroyed them 90 was it 81 what was it 81 to 7 they pretty much beat hawaii so uh that was single-handedly destroyed them and then tc uh, the texas tech game that was a little worrisome because they started out really slow and then uh tyler shuck uh for uh who's a former quarterback for oregon um he balled out against that game and of course they came back and won 38 to 30 so this game is going to be another prime time game uh, as you guys know uh, hint, <laughs> but yeah, so it's gonna be a good game. I think hopefully it's gonna be like a, like the last night when like it was chirpy. I uh, like last night was crazy. The rivalry with or Colorado State and uh, Colorado is the, everybody's going back and forth. Though I hope Travis Hunter is gonna be okay. That, that was a dirty cheap shot by that Colorado State guy yesterday. It was a late. It was should have been a late hit too. Uh, but he he could have been ejected of that game. But anyway, all right. So enough of all that. Let's go ahead and go through the matchup predictor, which it also, this is going to be at Oregon, which is the Austin Stadium, or Austin Stadium. Uh, the coverage will be on ABC and all that stuff as well, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, so yeah, the matchup predictor has Oregon with a 93.9%, uh, and of course Colorado, 6.1%. I mean, hey, it could change after that. Like, so yeah. All right, and of course the season leaders, we have Shador Sanders, who could potentially be a Heisman candidate winner this upcoming season if he keeps balling out. Uh, this year, he already has 107 completions to 138, 136, my bad, attempts with 1,251 passing yards in three games. It's just unbelievable already in three games. Ten touchdowns and only one interception, which I think the interception last night was like a tip pass or something like that. Uh, Bo Nix has played a great great season so far. Um, a little shake against Texas Tech, but they still won. He's done a good job. He's done a lot better with Oregon than he did at Auburn, mainly because Oregon, I feel like, is a better fit than uh, Auburn. All right, he went 76 completions to 98 attempts, 893 passing yards, eight touchdowns. He can also be in the Heisman watch list as well. We got Dylan Edwards for Colorado. He's done, a, he's done an okay job with rushing, but still Colorado is still struggling with the running game, but they, they're, they're pretty good with the passing game, as you got as you can see with the Shador Sanders Uh so yeah, he had a hundred. He had 25 carries, 136 yards of rushing and one touchdown. Irving for Oregon has done a great job with 20, 27 carries, uh, 216 r rushing yards and three touchdowns. Weaver has done an amazing job uh, so far 
uh, with Shador Sanders. 25 receptions, 386 receiving yards. Really good. Uh, and two touchdowns. And Franklin from Oregon has done a great job as well with 17 receptions, 292 receiving yards, and three touchdowns. Okay, so lastly, we go through the team stats. We have Colorado with uh, with averaging about 479 total yards compared to Oregon's, which is pretty good, 587.0. But they, they played Hawaii and they played an FCS school, so that can uh, accumulate over time. But yeah, anyways, I'm not trying to discredit them, but those are two games that they should win too. Uh, yards of passing, we have Colorado with uh, 418.0, with Oregon 357.7. Yards rushing, uh, not so great for Colorado, which that is that that needs to be fixed uh, pronto for uh, Coach Prime. Uh, so he has 61.0, not good. Uh, 229.3 for Oregon, which is pretty good, which is like an average for uh, for running. Uh, yards allowed on defense, this is where Colorado needs to fix their defense because this is what they struggle with every single week. Though they do win, but so, so, somewhere... Uh, I guess uh, uh, one week is going to be bad. It's just like Colorado's not going to do anything because their defense has been struggling with averaging about 460.3 yards allowed. Not good. Oregon has done a great job so far with uh, only allowing 285.7 uh, total yards. And, of course, yards or passing yards allowed, 265.0. Uh, not good. Uh, and, then of course, Oregon 158.7. Pretty uh, good. Uh, rushing yards allowed. Honestly, not too bad for Oregon. I mean, for Colorado, which is only 195.3 uh, compared to their um, secondary. It's not been too good. Uh, Oregon has done a pretty good job with 127.0. All right. So, as a further ado, I'm going to predict this game. And I think that uh, since it's at Oregon and that's a tough environment to play, it's a primetime game. Though, Colorado, I won't give – I mean, I won't – say that they could not win this game. I think they could win this game if they play the right cards. And I think that if they catch Oregon with a slow, shaky start, then hey, Colorado can win. But I think that, in my opinion, I think that since it's at home at Oregon, I think I'm going to go with Oregon with a minus 10 points. Uh, that's respectable. Uh, it's going to be a close close game. I think it's going to be like a high-scoring game. It could be. So uh, this is like the first, the first actual true test of an actual really good defense, in my opinion, for Colorado. They played TCU. TCU is a good team, but they got shattered by Georgia, who's a better team than that. But anyways, that's just my opinion. I think that Oregon's going to win by minus 10 points. And if you're a Colorado fan, please let me know who's going to win this game. And if you're an Oregon fan, please let me know who's going to win. I love Coach Prime. I love Deion Sanders. Uh, Shador Sanders has been awesome. Even his brother Shiloh. And I hope Travis Hunter gets better soon because that, that was a dirty cheap shot by that Colorado State player. But yeah, let me know what you guys think and uh, comment down below. Subscribe. Thanks for watching and hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And uh, Steph42 here. Peace out.